Hi friends, today I am going to be painting, um, I wanted to paint another one of these hats. I think I'm going to do it all in purple because I just thought it was so much fun. I love Halloween and um, so I'm going to paint that today. But I wanted to show you because a lot of you are asking me about pan, um, pan paints and paints in tubes. So for years I used Winsor Newton and um, since my college days, which was 30 some years ago. I do have my palette here that still has my Winsor Newton paints in it, although um, not using it so much these days because it's a lot more expensive. So I'm really liking these My Lang paints and I have tried a lot, but I love them because they have a lot of premixed colors and they're very creamy and vibrant and I've just really been happy with them. So some of you have asked me, the one thing about these My Lang paints, keep in mind they're under $20 and um, when you run out of the little pan, they don't sell those to replace. So what I do is I just take um, my two paints. These are Cotman, Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors, which are the student grade. And I'm just going to fill these up. And that way I can still keep painting. So this is the olive green, which... Um, is also actually called olive green in the My Lang set. So I'm just going to fill this up and this paint will dry just like the others. And then I will just wet it every time I go to use it, just like I do all the others. This is the sap green, which is a little bit brighter green. And I'm just going to fill that one up. There we go. And they're pretty close in color, really. And then the other one I'm gonna do is Cad Yellow. Oop. So we'll just fill that up. And now once these are in here for probably 24 hours, they will dry right now. They're gonna be really, really wet. I'll probably end up doing that yet. Lemon Yellow too. Um, don't know if I have that color. Let's see. Let's just look in my little arsenal here. Oh, I do have lemon yellow. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit in there as well. Might as well since I'm doing this. So really easy. Um, I'm not going to stress that I'm mixing my Cotman's uh, Winsor Newtons with my My Langs. It's perfectly fine for me. Um, and so there we go. I'm ready to go. Now, when I do use these today, I'm going to have to be a little bit careful dipping into them because they're a lot wetter and I'm going to pick up a lot more paint. The other one that I don't know if I'll be able to match or not is I love their matter red. I'm not quite sure what that color would be, maybe permanent magenta or something like that. So there you go. That's that. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to draw my little witch's hat using the drawing that I did last night uh, using my Artisto paper, as you know, my favorite because I keep them all in here. They're all spiral brown. Right now, this is kind of my fall palette. Um, so it's got all my fall pictures in it. And, um, you know, next year at this time, I can go grab this for some inspiration. I'll have some colors in here. And that's why I love these. They're also very thick. Love the texture. And I'm going to be using my little favorite um, black wing pencils. So let's go ahead and draw this fun little witch's hat. I take advantage this month because... This is the only time of year I could really paint this many of these fun little things. I don't like the creepy side of Halloween, like the um, icky, scary stuff. I like the fun stuff. So let's just draw our little hat here. Maybe bring that out a little bit farther. Sorry for that camera shake. There we go. And we'll do a big buckle or like that and let's see let's do our brim there let's 
So there we go. Yeah. Okay. One of the reasons why I love these erasers is it's really thin. So I can get into kind of some small spots. And of course, I always tend to have a bunch of pencils laying around with no erasers on them. Or remember in grade school, you'd chew up the tip of your eraser so you could squeeze out the eraser. <laughs> I have lots of those too. And then I think over here, I'm just gonna come out with maybe a little ghost, something like that. Maybe another little one right here. Just to make it kind of fun. There we go. Just easy, simple. I like simple. And there we go. Okay, so I'm going to be using my, I've got my wash and rinse here. And of course, as you know, I love my meat and products. They're so wonderful. They're heavy and they've got the wash side and the rinse side. And I think I will use, as always, my six and my eight Princeton. Uh, keep in mind, these Degatos are wonderful for the beginner. You can use those as well if you want. I'm still using these, and I bought these about six months ago. Kind of surprised the point is still really good on them. But I am going to use my eight. Okay, so let's get this wet. Looks like I have a little bit of yellow in my brush there. Like that. Just getting this wet. Just damp. You don't want it to be all puddling and pooling. Just so it's shiny. If I lift my page, it's not going to move around. It's just damp. And then in my drawings, I always like to kind of have a little bit of an idea of where my darks and lights are going to be. So here I kind of put my darks on the right side. And then let's go into our violet purple. I just love making witches hats purple. I think it's so fun. And I'm going to go in and do a little bit of a wash here. Keeping lots of white space, as always. And just filling in all that white and letting it kind of spread around. I'm using the tip of my brush very light pressure and when I want to use the tip of my brush I keep my brush straight up and down because the more you tilt it you're going to get more of the belly of the brush so there we go got a nice little wash there okay once that kind of starts to dry I could even go in right now and just tap in wet and wet to this side that I know is going to be darker because I kind of planned that out. And then once this dries a bit, we can go in and um, let's maybe add some of that sky blue. There we go. And some more of that purple. There we go. Okay, I think that's really fun. And then I'm going to go in and do this, the hat part here, just with some wet water. And making sure I have a little bit of a puddle there, so I'm just going to dry my brush off and pick some of that up. Do the other side. And the brim of the hat here. And then I'll pick up my purple, my violet, and just start laying that in. Get that real nice, soft look there we 
go. And the brim of the hat here. Maybe leave that part a little bit lighter. And I think while this is drying, I think I might go in with a tiny bit of my, um, gosh, you could use Prussian blue or regular blue, whatever color's kind of calling to you. And as this is drying, I'm just gonna go in and start adding in some darker colors like that, maybe into the, so this is their, their Prussian blue that I'm using. Um, and start creating some shadows. I just love these blue colors together. And I'll go underneath that little belt or little buckle like that. Just blend it in. So that's almost like a gradiated wash. If you watch my um, tutorials on washes, I'm almost creating like a gradiated wash there, meaning it's fading into another color. I think I'm going to darken that a bit and under here i really want to create some depth there there we go and that's all working with layers to do that so i'm going to pick up a tiny bit more of that purple and the blue some more of these little creases okay and then let's go ahead and work on these little ghosts and I think for those I'm going to use their light sky blue in a very washy meaning a lot of water and Actually, let's get them wet too, because I want them to be very washy. So we will get them wet, just like we did our little witch's hat, just with some clean water so it's just shiny. It's not puddly or pooling anywhere, and I'm just using the tip of my brush. And now I can go in with some of that blue and add that in there we go okay and then let's get our second little ghost here wet so fun i just oops, love these i think they're so cute halloween's so fun again i'm not into all the gore and the scary stuff i just like this fun stuff I just want to make it look like maybe there's some pleats. I'm really lately love loving the purple and that sky blue mixed together. I think it's really pretty. Oops, we need to get that one wet. There we go. Just stamp, just shiny using clean water. That's why it's so important to have this wash water and the rinse water because you want to make sure when you're trying to get these translucent colors, you're not carrying over the colors of whatever paint you used last. And this very washy look, which is wet and wet. What I love about wet and wet. Okay. So let's let that dry a bit, and then maybe we'll do the typical little spider here. And you could use a pen to actually draw this if you want. So I'm gonna do his little web. And then what I think I'll do is I'm gonna also make, oop, 
mixing some of that sky blue and some of that purple. I think I'm going to make my spider also a turquoisey blue color like that just because I think they're so cute. So this is very much almost um, a monochrome. It isn't because I've got purple and blue, but it's pretty um, much the same color. I'm going to use my six long round Princeton because it has a little bit nicer, thinner tip. So just go into my black and some of my purple and create those eight little tiny legs. There we go. Look how cute that is. Wouldn't that be a cute little card? There we go. Just tap in there. When that dries, we can always go in and add some little eyes. Maybe a tiny bit more black. And there we go. So actually, let's go into our buckle there. And I think for that, what I'll do is just wet my brush and pick up some of that cad yellow and do a light wash, just meaning I have more water versus paint. And let's just do a light wash. I'm gonna use this side of my brush so I can get a nice thick stroke there we go and look how pretty that is now we could maybe even go in there with a little bit of gold on the edges here just to give it like it's turning around so let me get a little bit more of that gold there we go just makes for a little bit more interest, I think. The other thing you could do too to shadow the edges is mix that yellow gold. So I'm gonna, oops, see that was that new yellow I just put in there. Mix it with a tiny bit of yellow and you'll get a really nice shadowy color. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll move on now to, let's see, let's do our little ghost eyes. I'm gonna add a tiny touch of black to my purple. And try not to touch this over here. And just draw, you could do this with an ink pen too if your hand's not too steady. That would be fine too, or you could even use little color pencils. Add a tiny bit more black to that purple. There we go. And maybe just darken up this side like that. Didn't really mean to do that, but that's okay. I just kind of worked with this since I'd done it, and it's actually kind of creating that shadowy effect, so that's fine. I'm gonna go into that and just do that push-pull technique, although I think it's kind of dry now, so it might not work. There we go. Some of that purple. adding in some of these little creases as we go around. And there we go. I think that's really cute and fun and I feel like it really, I'm getting that feeling of turning and dimension and interest. I'm just going to add a little bit more of that blue and purple to my little ghost. I want him to basically stay 
transparent, but let's just give them a little bit of detail. So I'm going in with just a damp brush and I'm just gonna soften those lines I just drew with just my damp brush. So I'm kind of lifting that paint to create some light areas like that. And there you go. We could even do a little mouth on there. If you wanted. Maybe add a tiny bit of black to that. And this is what I love about wet and wet because you get all these beautiful colors and look at how pretty that gold is with the purple mixed in it for a shadowy color. Maybe put a little bit more color in this little guy like that. And watercolors are always going to dry lighter than you think. So many times you will have to go in and add more layers so that you get the dark colors that you want. And that's why you always see me working in lots of layers. I just rinsed my brush off and I'm just going to pull that down a tiny bit. And there we go. I think I'm pretty happy with that. I think that's really cute. All right, you guys have fun with that. Um, Halloween's almost here and we'll be done with these. So I'm trying to get in as many of them as I can um, and just have fun with this. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye.